In this video, we're going to look at finding the gradient of a line. A gradient of a line is how steep the line is. But we can define it as, for every one the line goes across, for every one we go across the x, how far up or down do we go? So, if we look at this graph over here, so for every one we go across, every one we go across, we're going up 2. Every one we go across, we go up 2. So the gradient of this line, the gradient, is 2. The gradient is 2. So for every one we go across, we go up 2. The gradient is 2. Here's a whole host of different lines. Let's look at the gradient of each of them. So um, the white one first. So for every one we go across, how far are we going up? Well, if we go across 2, we're going up 1. So for every one we go across, we're going up half. We're going up half for every one we go across. So the gradient of the white line is half. So um, I'm going to write m equals half. m means the gradient. Um, it isn't the best choice. We could have used g. But um, m is what we use for the gradient. So I'm going to use m in this case. Let's look at the blue line. So for every one we go across, we go down one. One across, down one. One across, down one. So the gradient of the blue line um, is going down one, so it's minus one. So the gradient of the blue line is minus one. How about the green line? So for every one we go across, one across, up, one, two, three. One across, up, one, two, three. So the gradient of the green line is three. For every one we go across, we go up three. And the red line, finally, for every one we go across, we don't go up. <laughs> every one we go across, we don't go up. So it's actually got a gradient of zero. It's got no gradient. Okay, here's some more lines. Um, see if you can work out the gradient of them. Pause the video, and then I'll put the answers up after. So let's start with this white line. Um, every one we go across, we go up one, one across, up one. So the gradient is one. Uh, blue line, every one I go across, I go up two. One, two, one, two. So the gradient of the blue line is two. Um, red, every one I go across, well, that's um, down half. One across, down half. One across, down half. One across, down half. So the gradient is going down, so it's minus, and it's half. And the green line, again, it's going down, so it's going to be negative. So it's negative something. If we want to go across, I go down. One, two, three. One, two, three. So down three. So in this example, we're not given the graph. So we can look at gradient in, well, we can work it out in a different way. Instead of looking at the graph, we can say the gradient is the change in the y divided by the change in the x. So how far the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. So if we call these x1, y1, x2, y2, we can substitute them into this formula. So this is a useful formula to know. Um, and then we just substitute numbers in. So y2, 11, take away 5, over 4, take away 2. So that's 6 over 2, and the gradient is 3. So we can use the same formula, even though it's a negative in this one, makes it a bit harder. So we need to know the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, the change in y over the change in x. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So that gives us minus 5 minus 1 over 4 minus 2. Minus 6 over 2, and that's minus 3. The gradient is minus 3 in this case. Okay, here's some um, coordinates. Try and work out the gradients. So pause the video and give it a go. Okay, so we're going to use the same formula, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
changing y over changing x. And we'll call it x1, y1, x2, y2. So the gradient is y215 minus y13 over 5 minus 2. So that's 12 over 3. So that's a gradient of 4. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So the gradient is y2, 6, take away y1, minus 8. So minus, minus 8, that's going to become a plus. Um, over x2, 2, minus x1, that's minus 5. So minus 5. So this is 6 plus 8, which is 14, over 2 plus 5, which is 7. So the gradient is actually 2. The gradient is 2 for this one. And finally, the same formula again. So we have x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So minus 9 minus 1 is minus 10, and 3 minus minus 2, 3 plus 2 is 5. So the gradient of this one is minus 2.